it's, it's by chance. Um, what's happening is more and more families are putting their land into, in essence, holding companies. But we would say it's subchapter S or an LLC and give people stock in the holding company. And then someone in the family then leases that land and exploits that land and makes the wine from it. So it's really you have the wine making company and the land company. And that's very, that's a typical um, uh, setup now pretty much all over Burgundy, all over France. I mean, that's what I do with mine. I have two land companies that own the land and then I lease it myself from my land companies. So that way you can keep the land intact. So you can then, in theory, because the problem is there's, there, there are some controls and price controls on selling the land depending on the um, uh, appellation. And so but if it's in a corporation, you're selling the corporation, you're not selling the land. So that's how people get around it.